All right, here with head coach Trish Brown, uh, obviously a tough 79-73 loss to St. Michael's. Coach, first half, um, you guys shot 62%, but we're only able to be up by four points, I think, at halftime. Um, just a case of just not doing enough to put them away early, to, so to weather the second half a little bit. Uh, yeah, for sure. We, um, you know, I thought we started the game very strong, which we have in the last few, um, but, you know, our, our defensive urgency definitely wasn't there, and you know, this is a, a very scrappy, tough St. Mike's team who kept coming at us. And, um, you know, I don't think we got the stops that we needed to kind of keep that lead that we had had very early in the half. Um, we didn't take care of the ball in the first half. We had 11 turnovers, which is not something that we've been doing. And also just the rebounding effort. We gave up eight offensive rebounds in the first half. And, you know, their guards were rebounding. You know, that, that was a, a team that was sending five kids to the boards, and we weren't doing much to prevent that. Um, yeah, I mean, you mentioned the offensive rebounds. They, it was 10-0 at halftime on second chance points, and right there that gets them right back in the game. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, we know that in this league that, you know, you have to come to play 40 minutes every night, and, you know, we're just not a team that's there right now. And we've been getting... Um, you know, I think that against Franklin Pierce, you know, we have kids that have an ability to make big plays and we certainly, you know, when you can get a win in this league with big plays in the, the fourth quarter, you'll take that. But in order to be a, a very good team in this league, you have to understand how to compete for 40 minutes and, and how to, when you get a lead, how are we making, you know, how are we getting our defensive stops? And I just think we did not play well defensively. Uh, shooting percentage in the second half, 36% compared to 62 in the first. And when it went dry in the fourth quarter, but then when you kind of started to pick it up a little bit, like you mentioned the other night, you guys are trading baskets. Right, yeah. right. And you, I mean, you can see us in the, when it gets to crunch time, we got very aggressive offensively and kids stepped up and, and made some big shots, but we got very tentative and, and I thought our play on both ends was very, very soft tonight. And um, against a team that, that went hard, they, their kids play hard, they, they go to the hoop hard and you know our team defense just wasn't there. We were getting beat on the perimeter for sure, but you know usually we have some better help rotation, which we didn't have. But you know, on the other end, you got to make shots and you got to, you know, we missed layups. We rushed shots in the second half and, you know, we showed our youth again. We got impatient. We didn't run our stuff and, you know, we, we looked for a first look in our sets and that wasn't falling and then we were forcing shots. Do you turn the page quick with youth and, you know, use this as a learning tool here moving forward? Now you have a week off. Um, a little bit of a break heading into obviously you know a tough game next week at Southern New Hampshire. But, right, right. Um, I assume it'll be a classroom week for the team. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, we we need to take a big step back and and really understand what it takes for everybody to get better, including myself. I mean, I I need to make some changes, but you know, this is a good week, a good opportunity for us to to do some different things. But just get back to understanding. Um, you know what it takes defensively to be a good team in this league um, and then just um, our ability for each player to get better um, is, is going to be really important for us and I think that I'm tired of talking about youth <laughs> and so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Um, we have to grow up now and we have to understand and if, if those kids, um, our, our youth needs to grow up in a hurry. If there's a positive, I mean, Paige today, 23 points. Again, you know, three games in a row now, we talk about her leadership. She's showing it out there, and it was just a matter of those kids seeing her and, and following in her footsteps. Yeah, and I think, you know, when we talked about that second half and at the end when it came to crunch time, I think, you know, Paige is, is that kid who's turning the corner hard and getting herself to the rim. And, you know, she knocked down some big threes again, again for us tonight. But... Um, you know that we we can't play this way. We can't play and and rely on a Kelly or a Page to make a big shot at the end of the the game or make a big shot to give us a little bit of a cushion. We need to understand you got to defend in this league to win games, and you know we we've got to get more fluid offensively as well, just to make sure that you know we got a lot of fixes, Doug. A lot of fixes. <laughs> All right, Coach. Well, thanks for the time after the game, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Thanks.